All right, here we are. Hello, everybody. This is Chris Jordan with Team C and E. I am hopping on. It's just before four on uh, this beautiful Friday here in Maryland, Bel Air, Maryland, where the next Inspired to Lead Leadership Conference is going to be. Uh, this is going to be absolutely amazing. We're bringing it to Bel Air. I'm really, really excited to be able to share this in this area. This area is a booming small business area. And I think that having this leadership conference is just going to be uh, another great tool for these businesses to use to really develop and grow into some greater potential. Um, the businesses here in Bel Air are like great small businesses uh, and not being taken over too much. And so we are looking forward to really bringing that to another level. So right now we're going to be waiting for Dominique Brightman to hop on. As soon as he hops on, we're gonna, he's going to be coming on and we're going to be doing a video interview introduction. You guys have seen it online, just a basic picture with a quote and a little bit about Dom, but he's going to be hopping on here real quick and we're going to be talking to him. Hey, Deanna, good to see you. Hey, Mama, good to see you. Um, so as we wait, I just want to remind you guys, this was sponsorship week. So if you were paying attention to all the posts coming out, this is the week that we were really talking about sponsoring the Inspired to Lead event, backing the movement, if you will. And so today was about the platinum level, and the platinum level is the big one. It's a $1,000 level. We're talking, uh, you're getting everything uh, you can imagine, plus things that we haven't even shared with you. When you show up to the event, you're going to be given a bunch of gifts. So what does the platinum level look like? It's a thousand dollars. There's only two spots available for one specific reason. There's an awesome opportunity to be an opening speaker for the event. Um, the reason I'm only doing two slots is that person has to be vetted by me and the team. We want to make sure that you are in line with what we're doing, uh, that it, we're not selling from the stage. We're representing, um, you know, relationship growth, development of those connections. That's what it's about. And so two of those are available. Not only do you get that opening speaker uh, opportunity, but you're gonna get five VIP tickets. You're gonna be a corporate sponsor for a year. You're gonna have online marketing uh, up to throughout and beyond the event. You're gonna have a full page ad. And then one thing else that we're adding that you know of is a free, well, it's not free, it's included, it is free, but it's a two hour training uh, for your business. And here's Dominique right now. He just popped on. Let me go ahead and invite him in and uh, we will get started here. So, all right, Dominique, Deanna, who else is here? If there's anybody else here, please say hello. Let us know you're here. Uh, hit the share button, please. No matter where you are, no matter who you are, uh, hit the share button. Inspire Lead is something that people will travel to. Um, we want them to travel to it, actually. If you're coming from Georgia, like one of our speakers, or you're going to come from the Midwest, or you're going to come from up north or south, get to this event. It's really worth it. And Dominique Brightman, I see you finally. Hello, sir. Just waving, not even talking to us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, can you hear me? I got you, man, loud and clear. How are you, sir? Oh, doing fabulous. Happy Friday, as some people like to say, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yippee ki -yay. It is a beautiful day, absolutely. So uh, I'm not going to take too much of your time. I know we've got a lot going on, and we're just hopping on here just to share a little bit. Um, we've done this before, but for those who haven't seen you and, and aren't really sure what's going on, especially here in the Bel Air, Bel Air area, maybe, um, just introduce yourself real quick. Tell us about you, who you are. Uh, and and what you what you're going to be bringing uh, to this Inspire to Lead event? Take it away, Don. Sure, sure, sure. Thanks a bunch, Chris. Great to be back on with you once again with the FB Live. Yeah. So for those who don't know, my name is Dominic Dom Brightman, a fellow certified John Maxwell coach. Now, thanks to the help of the wonderful Chris and Clyde Middleton, and also a best-selling millennial author. Yes. I'm also a best-selling author now. I finally get to join the company of others thanks to the plan of uh, the wonderful team. Thanks to Chris and hundreds of other people. I mean, 
Sunday, my next book, Stay the Course, The Elite Performer, Seven Keys to Sustainable Success. That went number one in the self-help category under personal growth this past Sunday evening because enough people bought it. So, I'm, yes, it's, it, it, it's a blessing and a good feeling. And what I'm going to bring it to the table is I'm going to be Mr. AM in the PM because in the afternoon you're going to be getting a session about accountability and mentorship from yours truly. And this is, I'm honored that I'm actually going to be talking about the subject because it's probably one of the biggest things that have contributed to the success of my life. I've had praying parents, both a praying father, a praying mother. I've had great folks around me, not just Chris and Clyde and Dexter, but also countless others. I mean, heck, even. One of my new mastermind buddies, Amy Porter, she's an amazing woman who's helped me a lot and great mentors. I mean, I wouldn't be an author, I wouldn't be here with Chris if I haven't had the faith from other folks behind me, if I haven't had the in, inner strength to actually take action on that faith, like even reading books. Books are mentors, and John Maxwell, he likes to say that mentorship is a way of borrowing experience. Mm. So you're going to be learning why mentorship is a book on steroids come June 15th. Awesome. Yeah, I, I'm excited to have you in that slot, too, because um, you know, you're one of our younger speakers, too. And, and I think that for that demographic, you know, the younger crowd that's coming up that's maybe not sure where their place is in all this, I think you're speaking into a super powerful thing about building circles and making sure you have the right people to challenge you. Um, one of the things you, you said was, you know, you taking the action, right, that you needed to take. How, how important was it for your mentors uh, to be kind of the catalyst in that decision for you to take that action? Very important because when you're with a mentor and especially if they take it to the extra step and they keep track of what you're doing, that's the good thing about a good mentor. A good mentor actually checks in with you along the way with your progress. So just checking in and to be like, hey, did you write towards your book today? Is the book out yet? You probably are going to do that thing. Have you stopped in for your gym session? Have you worked out? Yeah. And that's always the piece because it's like you always got someone in the ear that's always just in your ear like, hey, have you done that thing yet? And then it's like, oh, God, yeah, all right, I'll, I'll, get, on, I'll get on the darn trail and do it. And then just the accountability piece. I mean, that's the big thing with it, too, especially a mentor that holds you accountable. The, a mentor is a, at least a good person. They may not be fully qualified all, all the time to give advice on certain things you may be doing, but they may – have enough expertise in a way, kind of like a coach in a way of a football game. They may have not been a Super Bowl champion quarterback or like a running back or whatever, but they have at least they know enough and they can hold you accountable for you getting things done. And that's one of the biggest things, just getting it done, just getting out there and taking action. You can read all day, you can talk all day, but if you do nothing as a result, then you're going to get nothing as a result. Yeah. That's powerful. Yeah. Yeah. Accountability and mentorship go together. So hand in hand. So I love how you kind of float into the accountability part. And, you know, that's really what coaching is about is just um, really holding you accountable to your beliefs and your dreams and what your desires are. And what I love is that you're going to bring, uh, you're going to bring, I know what you're going to bring. You're going to bring this edge. You're going to bring this energy. Um, you know, after lunch, nonetheless, you're, you're going to be that bridge between uh, the lunch, right after lunch speaker and the final speaker is going to wrap everything up, you know, so you're going to bring a whole nother level of energy. How are you going to, like impart that energy and interact and engage with the audience to get them uh, super excited about, you know, being a mentor, finding a mentor, and then holding somebody else and even themselves accountable as they go through this uh, leadership growth process at Inspired to Lead. Yeah, so since I mentioned that mentorship is a book on steroids, I'm going to get about 100 to 150 syringes that have mentor on them. We're going to inject. I'm just messing with you. We're not, we're not going to do that. <laughs> This is, this no, is part of why gonna... I got you here. You, gotta, you keep me on my toes, Dom. You keep me on my toes. I mean, we're going to have a, one of the speakers is a nurse, so, I mean, you know, it, it might work out. Let me stop. <laughs> I can't neither confirm nor deny. <laughs> I was just messing with you. No, but seriously, though, it's, for those, especially after lunch, you got to wake up the metaphorical dead in a way. So it's going to be interactive. It's going to be fun. It's going to be engaging. 
There's going to be a random high five, at least five in the audience, no pun intended. <laughs> it's going to be energetic. It's going to be interactive. I'm probably giving about a good 45 to 60 minutes. I'm not going to run my mouth for those whole 45 to 60 minutes because at the end of the day, it's going to be interactive. I'm going to want to hear some feedback from the audience as well, too, because at the end of the day, it kind of goes back to what I said earlier. You can read all day. You can listen all day. But if you don't do anything, then it's no point at all for what you do. So it's going to be interactive. It's going to be engaging. No engagement rings involved. It's going to be fun on the button. That's awesome. You know, and what I what I love about this whole process, this whole Inspired to Lead, as we've done, this is now our third one. Um, what I love about it is that we're continuously growing. And what I, I just read in, in John Maxwell's newest book, Leadership, you know, is is shifting from that goal mindset to a growth mindset. And yes. how if, if we don't do that, uh, we're going to miss out on a lot of you know, potential uh, in our lives, you know, potential to go way beyond success to, you know, actually kind of have that significance uh, to really uh, impact lives at a completely different level. And so as we go through the, this Inspired to Lead conference uh, in June 15th, uh, I think people are going to notice that it's a building block and that accountability and mentorship, uh, you know, I say this about all the pieces really, but every piece I'm talking about is uh, the glue that really kind of holds everything together. So it's almost like, you know, you start off with the leadership and then you put a little bit of, uh, you know, spackle down or whatever, and you, you stick identity on there. And so you're building up uh, this whole concept. And at the end of the day, what do you want people to take away from the accountability? I, apparently, my bird wants to have a, a conversation. Uh, what do you want people to take away from the accountability and mentorship part of this event um, that's going to help propel them into a growth mindset and actually stepping into that unlimited potential that they have? After this event, I just want folks to walk away with contacts and new connections and hopefully lifetime friends because in this journey of life, it's better not to go alone because you can get things done alone. But if you really want to go far, you're going to need a good team with you. You need good folks around you who are positive. They're on the same path you are in one way or another. Yeah. And that's really the main piece I want folks to get out of this. But the mentorship and accountability piece Probably find an accountability buddy after this event is over and just keep the growth going after June the 15th is over because this is an event you don't want to miss. Leaders are born at conferences, and leaders have followers and are also grow other leaders, and you're yeah. going to need other leaders around you to keep you at your best. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, Brendan. Hey, Clyde. Thanks for hopping on. Hey, uh, please hit the share button, guys. But accountability is huge in growth, like you said. If you have somebody holding you accountable, um, kind of, you know, holding your feet to the fire to take those action steps, to actually get things done, uh, you're going to find growth because they're going to put you in those uncomfortable positions. Uh, they're going to challenge you to take those things, steps you normally would never take without somebody being right by their side. Um, so, yeah, I totally think that as far as growth goes, your, your session is going to be a huge key uh, to somebody really uh, experiencing that exponential explosive growth, if you, as you've talked about before. Oh, yeah. Hey. Explosions, baby. Done, mate. <laughs> we got syringes, explosions. <laughs> I'm not sure they're going to approve us the space anymore after all this. But no, seriously. <laughs> last last minute thought, last uh, uh, comment that you want to leave us with, you know, favorite quote or going into this, maybe something that you are planning to share that you just want to tease us with. Any, any parting words before we get on off of here? Oh, parting word. What can I leave you all with? This gift is, I'll finish it off with this Jim Rohn quote. I love it. It's the fact that I'll take care of me for you if you take care of you for me. Mm. A mentor is going to take care of one aspect of your personal growth in one way or another. Yeah. And the amount of time that they may impart to you varies. It could be 30 minutes. It could be done sporadically over 30 different years. If you take care of yourself by making sure you get a good mentor in your life, then you'll get explosive growth to be able to impart that into someone else. Both of us, both Chris and I and everyone listening now and in the future is here because someone had their hand in our lives and our success 
but it was a small success like getting that first job and then getting promoted on that job, writing and publishing that book, whether it was starting a podcast, no matter what it was, somebody inspired you, you took that action and you made sure that someone came along to help hold you accountable for what you did, whether it was for a week or a year. So mentorship is a huge thing and take care of yourself by making sure you get a mentor in your life. And the good thing about mentorship, it's a two-way street because mentoring is a way of learning something twice. When you teach something, you're learning something twice. Mm-hmm. And you'll pick up something that you didn't know yeah. on your own. You could have watched a YouTube video and you could have learned it, but it's quicker to have a mentor with you because they'll show you another way that you may not have even thought of. Yeah. No, I love that teaching you learn more. I mean, that, that's so key. Man, I can't wait to hear you on June 15th. And uh, talking about being inspired, that's why I call this Inspired to Lead. Uh, what we hope to do, what our mission is, is to inspire you as attendees to lead yourself, to begin to make, you know, answer those questions and make those um, choices and take that action uh, that you need to do to lead yourself. And in turn, people will see that and you'll begin to inspire others to do the same. And so I just am super grateful to have people like Dom, Clyde, who's on the video right now, Dexter, um, Clyde's wife, Kat's with us this year. We got a new a new person, Robert Thibodeau with us. And then my wife, Emily, who's the nurse who will help us with the syringe part if that does happen. We've got such a diverse group of people that are there for the whole purpose of inspiring you with their stories, with their journeys to show you it can be done and then give you tools to do it yourself. So, I mean, I'm super excited, Dom. I know you are. Uh, you you woohoo it and you bring, you bring the energy. So I appreciate that. I'm going to get on off of here, uh, let you go, let me go because we got a busy weekend, I'm sure. If you're listening to this video, like, like Dom said, either now or later, invest in yourself. Benjamin Franklin said it best, and I think I posted it. He said, you know, if you take the coin uh, out of your purse and invest it in your mind, your mind will then in turn put coin into that purse more than you could ever imagine. It's about investing in yourself. It's about taking that intentional action to grow. That's where, that's where the power is. So, hey, I'm out of here. June 15th, Bel Air, the Armory, be there be inspired and uh let's change the world dom thanks for coming on buddy Woo-hoo. thanks for having me man we're gonna change the world with quarters and benjamins baby that's right <laughs> <laughs> love you buddy we'll see you all again soon for the next video uh introduction whoever that may be whenever that may be and uh when that time comes we'll see you otherwise stay tuned to the team cne page the Inspired to Lead event. Let us know you're going to be there. But more importantly, go register, reserve your seat. Space is limited. Time is limited. Take action. Now is that time. Dom, love you, buddy. Thanks, Clyde. Thanks, Brendan. Thanks, everybody, for joining us. And we'll see you next time. Love you. Bye-bye. Oh, yeah.